the last Macklemore album on my iPhone. It was always nice. I love the first three songs. That's my soundtrack to get hyped for something. And uh, I could say, uh, uh, hey, Siri, play Macklemore. It's going to wake up now. Watch. Um, oh, it didn't. And it'll play from the beginning of the album. I was like, cool. The behavior was there. It's exactly what I wanted, right? Now I say, play Macklemore, and it plays some track I've never heard of because it's popping into the iTunes music library. The Apple Music mm-hmm. Library, because all that's opened up. It's such a first world problem for me to be complaining about. But 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 it, the, again, I have to rethink that. And I got paid ten dollars a month to rethink that. And I don't know if that's worth it to me. Um, but this is the first time I've had absolute freedom to listen to any track I want on a service. Um, so I'm starting to get. Oh, that's why you guys pay for Spotify. For instance, there's a couple albums I hadn't gotten to because I didn't decide they were worth ten dollars. Doug Durda just started following me on Pinterest. Really funny since we both witnessed the Pinterest thing this after, this evening. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, so it's interesting. So I didn't realize that I thought Connect wasn't coming until iOS 9. Looks like that's now in the music app. Connect? Um, connect. We're, we're like, um, you're going to be able to connect um, with with the actual artists as part of the music app? Oh, no, yeah, it's in there. It's apparently in there. I didn't dive too much. I mean, I followed some of the artists I'm into. So I got my Twisted Tech Nine and Insane Clown Posse. I'm preparing for the gathering here at the end of the month, uh, or the end of next month, I guess, technically. I don't know. It depends on when you're hearing this. Uh, but, no, it's interesting. Also interesting, and here, I'll, I'll try to pull it up. We'll see if we're successful with this this week. Um, as we go in here, uh, so first, first thing that's interesting, tell us what you're into, and I can actually go in here. And I can uh, uh, double click on these guys, uh, like I double clicked on oldies and it pops up. I click once I, if, if I like classic rock a, a little bit more. You know, it, 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 you can actually set how much do I like certain genres and go in here, right? And you do that mm-hmm. through the entire thing. It's kind of a nice little interface. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then uh, let's see, you got your new, so it's just new music popping up here. Okay, that's fine. I'm not really big into you know, the newest and newest of new or anything like that. You have your radio real big at the top is that beats one, for instance. Now uh, it's a little laggy here on, on the Wi-Fi and you click that, but it's also got, again, it's just layered on top of everything that's already there. Cause I already had a couple of radio stations I was playing with on the free iTunes radio. So this really kind of absorbed the iTunes radio that I can tell, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Connect is there. We'll see if we can pop in there, find more art, artists and curators. And it's already going through Alabama, Alabama Shakes is somebody I downloaded off of uh, uh, I, or, uh, Starbucks' free downloads, for instance, right? <laughs> I have a lot of tracks in there because of stuff like that. Black Keys, the same thing. Uh, so let's say we go into Alabama Shakes. They have like they have a music video here. I can star, comment, share, uh, and, and go in. There's a little bit more about it. I mean, they, only, they don't have a whole lot here so far, so I don't know what exactly they're connecting with. I don't know. I guess who is it? Drake is that? Is that who uh, is is our biggest one? Uh, Apple Music. You can follow Apple Music Alternative, Apple Classic Rock, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters has some has something good in here, but it's really just like okay, they're in the studio recording Washington Light. There's a picture there. Okay, that's cool. Live in Manchester. There's some pictures. I mean, it, I don't know. This is what a Twitter account's for to me. This is what a Facebook page is for. And then there's just my music. It is still is listed library playlists. You can also go in when you search for stuff. Like I search for, there's my music and Apple Music. So the distinction is there. So let's so, say. So, so here's where I what I want to see out of Connect, and this is something that interests me. And you're saying this is what Twitter's for. I want to know, or I want access to other musicians playlists you want to know what dave grohl is listening to yes i want i want to discover music that he has discovered is that part of the promise i don't know but it's it's something that interests me that that spotify upplayed for a while and then i don't feel like they followed through on and it was one of the things that that actually had me really interested let me see who let me see what tupac is listening to right (laughs) think about it Sarah McLaughlin, Nirvana. Yeah, it gets weird. It gets but weird. that's where, like, the whole, to me, the whole concept of Connect is to give me behind the scenes content of mm-hmm. either recording studio cuts or um, live venues, um, 
that you'll have to pay the for. Old, the old concept <laughs> of the bootleg tape. Yeah. Um, I think that's where Connect is going to make, is going to bring people to, the, to Apple Music because I can get additional content that's potentially A, exclusive to Apple, and B, the whole point of the, it makes me feel more connected, right? That's the whole point. I, I'd be interested. In, I, I would honestly be interested in 